So one, two, three. Hello. <laughs> so cool. Hello, everyone. I am so happy and so grateful that we all are now, are now here because what we can create together is way beyond what each of us can create alone. So I would like to create with you tonight and to contribute to more freedom for our bodies. So let me introduce myself very quickly. Um, my name is Nadia. I am from Slovenia. I just became three-day body class facilitator before I was also a right body for you facilitator. And I have been in access for almost, almost eight years, like seven years. And like, um, really it's my favorite thing to do to create classes or actually to facilitate classes and create with like with you guys um because i am so desiring i i have such a demand for a different reality for all of us and especially for our body so really thank you everyone who is here now and who to all of you who are watching this somewhere in the future um thank you for your contribution for your willingness for your courage courage to seek something different and oh. also to your kindness to the body oh. and to oh. your body so, um, and I would like to say a big thank you to Anita, who is uh, helping me with like to make things easier, way more ease. This is Anita. Um, so uh, if you will have questions and you don't want to ask them like um, on the Zoom, you can write them on the chat and she will read them for you. And also here is Marusha or Marushka. I'm calling her Vladica, give her that nickname. <laughs> so she's uh, our Slovenian translator and I would like to say big thank you also to all the translators because they are making possible that uh, people who don't speak English also get the information and the contribution so it's kind of like really great job and I'm so grateful for all of you for the contribution you be not just by translating by but everything you also are in the world and also thank you to Janusz who is our Hungarian translator. The Zoom was primarily created for uh, Hungarian participants. Um, I mean, yeah, so, uh, and I'm so grateful there is a lot of Hungarians and hello everyone. And also um, there, there are, all of you are from different parts of the world. So how cool is that, with, that we can um, join and be together and create together, even if the Corona virus is spreading and keeping us at home. So what can we change tonight and today in this Zoom? So thank you, Janos, and thank you, everyone. So let's start playing. And if you guys have any questions, like that you perceive that I can be a contribution right now in this Zoom uh, and that can create something greater for all of us, bring them on. I'm so happy um, to contribute to that. And yeah, let's see what else is possible. So before we start, I would just like to take a moment with all of you and with our amazing, brilliant, magical, super cool bodies. So if you can just close your eyes or not, if it's more comfortable for you to not, and just breathe in and breathe out a few times and just relax into the space of your body and connect with every molecule of your body. So pull your being from everywhere else that you are being right now and get it present with your body. Everywhere where you are already now in the future or in some other meeting or with your kids or everywhere where you are out of your bodies and you are checking different parts of the world, please come to your body and be present with it. Just for a few moments. and lower down all the barriers that are coming up and all the separation that there is and just connect with your body right now. Be present, present in your feet and pull more energy into your feet from everywhere around. Ask for the energy to fill your feet and to contribute to your body. Ask for a contribution from everywhere around. 
and now move like move the energy through through your legs to your stomach to your belly to your solar plexus activate your thymus and pull it through your whole body play with the energy and just be grateful for your body say thank you for your body thank you to you, to your body to be here with you to be your partner in crime in this lifetime to be your magical tool for experiencing experiencing the orgasmic living in this beautiful planet we chose and now energetically include your body into creation of your life make that demand and include your body from now on fully into creation of your life and allow the energy of your body and the awareness of your body to contribute to you to your choices to your future and to the change you would like to create cool now you expand out with your being now we are being present with our bodies and now let's us expand out so expand out with your being to the size of the room where you are now current, currently in. So just expand out slowly and put down all the barriers that are coming up, all the judgments, all the thoughts, just send them away and be really present, aggressively present and connect with all the surround, surroundings. And now expand even more, expand to the size of the country you are now in and perceive the energy in your country right now and let's contribute with little consciousness let's hack the energy of your own country or of the country you are now in let's be a big hack with everything with all the energies include everything in you in that is in your country include all the energies from the nature from the land from the politicians from the people who are freaking out because of coronavirus just include everything and everyone all the animals everything and lower down all your barriers no exclusion of anything or anyone like being a smoothie like strawberry smoothie of with everyone and all the molecules that are here just connect with them Let's create this space of oneness of the space where we truly engage energetically and let's see what can we change tonight with the energy we'd be for your own body, for your own life and also for the whole planet. What contribution can I be today? This is the question you can ask. Also, please ask what contribution can I be to this Zoom and this creation? Because this is a totally different point of view than, than that we can create more from. So Gary is starting his day every day. How can I contribute to this world today? So how cool is that? Okay, expand even more. Expand to the whole earth, to the whole planet. Let's step into the oceans, connect with the nature, with all the animals, with all the consciousness. Let's connect with all the people that can be contribution to your future. Let's just connect with all the molecules, with everyone and everything and expand even further. Go with your being and with the energy, include the energy of your body. Go expand as far as you can. Go as far as you can right now with the space of your being. Because if you are more expanded, you can reach more possibilities. You can have more ease and you cannot make solid or true what is not true. So expand even more. And when you come to the place where, where you can expand the most, go further. Go even further because you're infinite beings, all of you. And now you can pull the energy from the whole universe through the space of your being 
and through the whole planet and all other planets and to through your body and receive start receiving more and allow your body to get more energized what would your body be or how would your body act or and move if you if you will allow it to be totally free everything that doesn't allow us to be and have that we totally can we destroy and uncreate it right around good and bad pot and pot all nine shorts boys and beyonds cool okay now you can open your eyes and let's go further from there cool just stay expanded um invite more energy into your body and be really present with your body so and let's go let's go exploring i would like to do some clearings you may have all of you who are probably here have may heard about access consciousness um, and about the access clearing statement so if you haven't heard about it you can check it on accessconsciousness.com um, the clearing statement i think it's the clearing statement accessconsciousness.com and amazing dr dane here is explaining you or um yeah um somebody came and can maybe share the link in the chat if somebody doesn't know so like let's see what what are you keeping in your body that it's holding you back and how much are you using your body as an excuse to not choose or create everything that is times a gazillion can be destroyed and uncreate all of that right around good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds how much are judgments limiting your freedom can we destroy and uncreate all those judgments that we have about our bodies right around good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds what will happen and how will your life look like if you won't have any judgments of your body anymore can you perceive the energy of each one of us walking in this world and being total allowance for our bodies all the definitions that you have about bodies how they should look like how they should be like what is like what are they capable of can we destroy and uncreate all of those please thank you right around good and bad pot and power call line shorts boys and beyonds okay um how much are you um like body is also connected to money so how much are you blocking the freedom with your body with refusing the money or with um being like or how much are you um blocking the freedom from of your body with not choosing the money you could be choosing can we destroy and uncreate all of that times like a gazillion right around good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds get the tap into the energy like how much money would your body like to have or actually how much money is your body capable of receiving can you get the energy and the sense of that and how much of that energy are you actually allowing into your life okay everywhere where you are not congruent with those two can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion right around good and bad pot and pock online shorts boys and beyonds cool how much are you blocking freedom from your body because you are um i i should put the sentence somewhere different i'm fright already how can like how much are you um blocking the freedom of your body with the sex you are not choosing can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion? Right around good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. Some of you are laughing. So who is keeping your body in jail and not allowing it to have the choice? So everything that is, everything that brings up, can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion? Right around good and bad, pot and pock, all, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. I was talking with, with a friend today and we were making fun, uh, like because of this, corona stuff and everything that is going on now it's really really important that we stay joy i mean that we don't 
went into the panic did we use that to your advantage like to your advantage yes everything that is going on right now please use access tools we have the golden tools we have everything that we we need actually to now is the time to choose and truly really step up and be something different so now a lot of things is are coming up for different people for some of them it's really uncomfortable because it's time for change like a big change in your own life and with your body it's like you can look what can you change or what would you like to have differently because everyone everything is calming down and we actually get to look at the things and please don't buy into that like what like don't buy into the space of stopping that is kind of created right now don't stop like how can you expand your business and your money flows and sex like right now maybe you can have sex with neighbors or something who are near <laughs> joking but like what possibilities are available to you that you are um, refusing to see or something everything that is times a gazillion right around with them bad pot and pop all nine shorts boys and and also if you uh, have been processing a lot like using body processes and access access bars these are also the tools that can change um, all the viruses and like you actually get to unlock the humanoid embodiment so you are kind of immune to all of this stuff that was artificially created so please um, use the tools, run bars, do body processes, have fun and like really be the change right now. It's even more important um, to be what you truly are and what you would like to see in the world. It's like I always recommend people when they get fucked up or something, that this is the time like when you when you feel really fucked up or when you are really tired or with your body or like when you like really are in this mood of like nothing you are not excited about anything this is the moment when you need to be really kind to you and present with you and these are the moments when you open your champagne and celebrate because and like like, like because these are the moments when you need yourself the most when you're being joy you already are being that and like but please open the champagne uh, or have a glass of wine or treat yourself like a queen or a king when you're feel, like really down because this is the time when you need you the most and like you can celebrate and cheers because you are never giving up you are never quitting you are still choosing and also please remember the moments when you are like really uncomfortable um, are the moments when you have making a bigger step so your life is changing so yeah i'm like ocd so i just want to tell you i was talking with my friend <laughs> today and he asked me like nadia what do we die tomorrow what would you choose today what would you be today what would you do today that you have never done before and it's kind of similar energy of inviting us to the space of um living in 10 second increments so please what how like this is the like this is super like our bodies are super magic now i'm getting excited it's like <laughs> it's it's really if you have 10 seconds or let's say 10 minutes to live the rest of your life with this body how will your body be will you still stay contracted and will you sit and lay down and like just you know stay still or will you just explode and jump and have way more energy will you allow yourself to be the energy bomb with your body that you truly are then can break all the limitations that are keeping your body in jail everything that is times a gazillion right around with and bad pot and pop all nine shorts boys and beyond and all the distractor implants that we are using to control our body can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion right around with and bad pot and pop all nine shorts boys and beyond what energy bombs can we be with our bodies that can change this reality our lives our livings and the future so how much are we limiting our bodies from our mind and from the definitions like how much have you um how much are you creating your body like linear or like how much are you being linear with your body everything that is times a gazillion right around good and bad pot and pop all nine shorts by simeons how much are you allying to the age of your body and creating your body uh, by the definitions of this reality it is supposed to be by that age can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion? Right or wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. And how much are you trying to create a normal body? 
everything that is and everything you have defined as a normal body, can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion? Right, wrong, good and bad, pod and pop, all nine shorts, boys and millions. What if you allow your body to, de to be to totally different, totally extravagant, totally humanoid? What if you, um, like, also, I was listening yesterday to a conversation with, uh, like, a really something really old, really old recording from somewhere, but you may heard that. It's like Gary and Dane were talking about how Dane has this capacity to change his body, like, because he wants other people to feel better. Like, um, I also acknowledge this capacity in me and my body. Every time when I go f home, I just feel like more fat or like I just got more, like more fat and more stuck because like it's kind of I, be, I belong there more like that and it's like uh, I become shorter and it's like I was using like I was creating wrinkles when I was with uh, my friends so they don't feel bad just because like just that they are not the only one with wrinkles and like we are really creating um so many things but just for that period of time and then when i get home and i come to this nurturing space i'm just my body is just different and i just feel better so can you please acknowledge all the capacities that your bodies have uh, and how much are you like changing your body um, in regards to other people? So like what if once for all, like what if from now on you will allow yourself to, to feel great? And how much are you not willing to make other people uncomfortable? Because like if you uh, like uh, make yourself like, uh, I don't know, um, if you shrink yourself and your muscles to make someone else feel better what is this creating like nothing like this is creating the status quo in this world but if you allow yourself to be more like and it's super connected with our bodies because what why i so like uh, topics about bodies because how we be with our body determines how big our life is because we are looking at our life or our life through the filter of our body if like i feel fat i just won't go to yoga class today because like i don't know if like i have like so many judgments but i'm not like that anymore but and it's like so many people for example also my mother she's stopping herself because of judgments of her body and it's like there is no rule how your body should be everybody is beautiful please everybody is alive and if you are willing to be total sexualness and you are total sexualness if your heart is beating you are being such an invitation and it's like this is the yummy energy i feel attracted to people who have allowance of their own bodies and like please let's destroy and the uncreate all the perfect definitions and perfections around bodies that that he, we have made real and true and are not so everything that is times a gazillion right around good and bad pod and pop all nine shorts boys and beyonds like really and also running body processes will get you the space and more allowance of your body because for me it was not possible to program myself before like to stop judging my body but with body processes i reach the place with where i like i'm really shocked sometimes how much are other people still judging their bodies i don't have that present in my world as much as other people and we are invitation by that like people in your space get to judge themselves and their bodies less so this is the change that this world is requiring right now so in and it starts with you if you have had someone in your life who was actually not judging you or not judging even their body, like you can be different. And it's like, um, this is the freedom that we are actually asking for. Can you perceive the energy of how your body feels in nature? Like if you are alone in the middle of forest, somewhere walking, when all the trees are gifting to you, when you kind of feel oneness with all the with the whole forest like there is a simultaneous gifting and receiving in that energy and that energy is total sexualness and this like total sexualness is something that so like so only few people is willing to be because if you go somewhere out and watch people how are they walking with their bodies they're almost like half that like they're not present with their bodies at all 
And if you go and watch cats or like if you watch horses, like they are being present. They are like moving every muscle with every step they are taking. So what if you can be more like that and allow yourself to be that all the time? Not to like make yourself less or not to uh, contract your energy because you are maybe gonna be judged. So how much are the judgments actually stopping you from having everything you truly desire? So everything that is times a gazillion, right around good and bad, pot and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So please turn on your sexualness. Like be grateful for your amazing body. What if you stop judging your body? How much more energy and possibilities can be available to you? Like what if you really stop judging your body and look at your body through the eyes of nature? What if you become that sexualness that you could be with really young kids? They don't care if you have washed your hair, if you have makeup, if you are like, I don't know, they, they just really, they, they're just present with you and it's super nurturing energy to be with them. I feel so much lighter and I feel so at the same when I'm alone in the forest. And what if we could create a world where, where our bodies can feel like that with everyone in the city? What if we can demand and choose that ease and consciousness? which is actually peace um, that we are asking for, what if we could choose that and own it for us from now on? Like, what if we, like, where are you waiting for others to choose? Or actually, where are you waiting for others to choose something in order for you to have it? Everything that is times a gazillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and millions. Where are you waiting for others? Or actually, where are you trying to empower others to choose a different reality with their bodies that you know it's possible so that then you will be actually able to choose that? Where are you not willing to be the first one, the pioneer in a different reality, the weirdo that you truly are? because you will be weird, you already are. And like this being weird is making us happy. Otherwise, are we just like pretending and trying and compressing ourselves to be normal, to belong somewhere, but we are not happy and our bodies are not happy. What if now is the time to change that and to choose that? So uh, my neighbor is 90, haha. <laughs> Um, yeah, nine, yeah, where have you decided that if a person is 19 that you cannot have sex with him? Like everything that is times a gazillion, right and wrong with a mad pot and pop online, short boys and beyond. Where are you still, um, how many defini definitions are you still keeping about the ages of bodies? What if like you go for the energy? Like what if you ask and demand like, okay, now we can do one uh, exercise. Um, one, another exercise actually. It's like, Please start acknowledging what energies does your body like to have. Like um, my body really like nurturing energies and like fun energies to be surrounded by. And like um, also the energies of sexualness, of allowance. Like if you have someone in or your life who is judging you or your body, just go fuck you very much and don't have those people in your life. I mean, if you're judging me, you are not my friend. Thank you. Goodbye. I love you. I'm in allowance of you. But like, why would you choose to be present in people who has with people who has judgments of your body? I mean, um, and it's like the start. What I would like to invite you, it's actually to start looking at different different energies that are actually available to you and start demanding for those energies and then you open up to receiving to those energies because how much have you limited all the energies of nurturing, sexualness, um, I don't know, uh, like to only uh, allow yourself to receive them from your partner or your husband and then he's not willing to be that energies and then you are lacking of that. So everything that is times a gazillion, right around with them, bad pot and pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. What if you just ask your body what energies it would like to have or and be surrounded by, and then you demand for those energies, and there is gazillion ways that you can receive that from. What if you can receive nurturing energy from your son, from your kid, from your, 
I don't know, for your, your, from your plant, from your um, dog, from the animals, from like uh, more people congruent with that energy will show up in your life and more situations. So ask, be more energetic. Like your body is energy, you are energy. So function more as energy. Ask for energies. Don't go into this like, material world and reality for everything but you can have all energies constantly available you actually be all energies so what else is possible for you that you don't want to believe that it's possible and what else is possible for your body what if you can just like i saw so many people in my classes that have decided that they cannot be health because they are not living healthy lifestyle or like they are not doing what they should do to be healthy. So can we destroy and uncreate all of those definitions that you have decided or that you like how you should feel with your body? All the definitions that you have about like um, how you should be with your body and feel with your body based on something like everything that is times a gazillion, right around good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, bosomians. What if like also how your body be is a choice? Like for example, if you haven't slept eight hours, then you must be tired. But what if like tiredness is just a choice? And what if you can energize your body by pulling energies and receiving more from everywhere and just allowing your body to be energized even if it has slept only three hours? Like, how many definitions are you using to lock your body into something? And like, how much are you really creating your body to make other people feel better? How much have you tricked yourself to empower, your bo to, to empower others by destroying your body? Can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion? Right to wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, whole nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And like, Please don't judge yourself, don't judge your body, acknowledge how courageous are you. You are looking and seeking for something different. You are playing with different tools. Um, you are like um, being, you are being willing to be present with your body every day even more. So you can also ask for every choice that you make in the next days, like is this choice gonna be nurturing for my body? And this is the way you could start including your body into every life choice that you are making. Like if somebody, I don't know, maybe now no one will invite you for drinks because of this Corona thing. Or maybe if somebody is asking you for something, ask yourself, okay, will this be nurturing for my body? And you will perceive the lightness if there is some nurturing energies present with that. And you will know because our bodies are more willing to be aware than we are sometimes or maybe often like our bodies has awareness on its own and they are they have preferences they don't filter they are not doing polarization they are not doing right and wrong good and bad they are just being going for what will create more so try to include your body more try to ask your body like be like be with your body like you are being with a kid or some uh, with kids or child um so ask it for everything that it's like, including that it's with it. So I, times go just so fast. I really can talk more now, just the energy just open up. So um, let's say that I can go with few questions. If somebody has any question right now that would like to ask, please bring them on and you can write them to the chat and Anita or Marushka or Janusz will read them for you. Or you can just unmute yourself and just speak and ask if there is something you would like to to have more of that. Okay, no questions for now. Cool. Um, then, okay, what, what else can we be? How much can we expand the energy of our lives and bodies to be the total freedom that we truly be that we truly are everything that doesn't allow us to be that can we destroy and uncreate all of that times a gazillion right around good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds and if you were truly living your life and if you were truly loving and um, enjoying with your body what will you choose 
go with that question. What will you choose? And you can help yourself with the question, if today was my first and my last day on this beautiful planet, what will I choose? What will I keep in my life? And what will I change? Like, uh, will I still stop myself with the things that I'm stopping? And please pod and pock everywhere where you are you using and creating your body as an excuse to not choose. And everywhere where you are um, creating the judgments about your body that you can have a reason to stop yourself. So everything that is time is a gazillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And what are you proving with your body? Everything that is time is a gazillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So cool. This was actually. I promised Janos and others to speak only for 30 minutes. So like, uh, yeah, this is a shorty. Um, actually, I would like to explore more. And tomorrow I have another Zoom. It will be more specific. I have actually prepared for tomorrow once <laughs> because I just want to mention a few things and change and invite, invite you to a change. So tomorrow I have another free Zoom. Are you a healer? is the question that's gonna lead tomorrow zoom so you are all invited it's the same time the same place um, the same comfortable chair it could be so it's like you can join me also tomorrow register on my website and i will send you will get the link automatically and this zoom will be tomorrow zoom will be translated into seven languages so um yeah some of you are already registered i'm so happy so cool and let's play tomorrow more and today, just be the energy bomb, be the sectionless, have total allowance for your body and be the hedon hedonists that you truly are. If we were seeking for more pleasure, we, it won't be possible to have diseases or to be sick. Like seek for pleasure, not for suffer, not for pain. And like allow yourself to have that sectionless, allow yourself to be that difference, nurture your body, as you would like someone else to nurture it. So everything that is times a gazillion, right, wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and Be as much kind to your own body as you would like, so, as you would like to, that someone else will be kind to you and your body. Because if you are not having it for you, you cannot receive it. And if you are having it from you, everyone will gift to you more of that energy. So the way how you treat yourself and your body is the way that you invite others to treat you. So please start being really kind. This is your home play. Really kind to your body, really nurturing, touch yourself, adore your body. Be really grateful for this magical creature that is there with you. And please start receiving from it because it has, it is so smart. It is beyond, it is super smart and our mind will never understand uh, the things that bo our bodies are capable of. So yeah, it's hard for me to end the Zoom. It's like too short, <laughs> but I'm so grateful for all of you being here, allowing yourself, you are smiling more than you were in the beginning. Allow yourself to be energized and play with the access tools. Please trust yourself, trust your body and have too much fun with this body in this world. And I hope I see you somewhere in the future, uh, also live. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Janos. Thank you, Marushka. Uh, thank you everyone for your contribution. We just created an energy bomb that we now can be. So cool. See you tomorrow, I hope, on another Zoom. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you.